What's up guys? Mark here. About a month ago, I had went to the farmer's market and bought a tuna and cleaned it and filleted it. And inside it, there was something pretty interesting. Like this. And then we're gonna flip. Now we're gonna split the belly. Oh wow, this stomach is full, like full to the brim. And then it's got some milk. Oh! This is, milk just means sperm. So this is a male skipjack. So wow, this is a very good looking meat, like very good. All right, this is the milk here. I'm gonna save these and cook these in a different video. So it had some milt in it, otherwise known as fish sperm. It's actually a delicacy in a couple countries. So today we're gonna use it and chef something up. All right, let's go. All right, so it's been about a month. These have been in my fridge. I put them in that brine with the sake, the salt and the water. And that draws a lot of the blood out and the fishy taste out of them. Uh, normally you just leave them in the brine for a couple days, but I've been a little busy, but we're finally getting to it a month later. So first we're gonna strain it. So we got the milk right here. Oh! So just like you call fish eggs row, fish sperm has a name, it's called milk. So we got the milk here, and then we also got the heart right here. I decided to save it as well, you know, less waste. So fish milk is a delicacy in a couple countries. In Russia, they eat pickled herring milk. Tuna milk is commonly put on pasta dishes in Italy. So yeah, it's a delicacy in a couple of places. In Japan, it's also eaten. There's a dish called shirako ponzu, where it's lightly boiled and put in a ponzu sauce, which is like a soy sauce based sauce. And that's normally from cod milk. But today we got this tuna milk, so that's what we're using. Now milk is high in levels of protein and vitamins B12 and D. So yeah, it's pretty good for you. And today with this milk, we're gonna make some tempura, some shirako tempura. So shirako is how you say in Japanese. So we're gonna make some shirako tempura. And then we're gonna grill a little bit of it too. But first, I don't have any tempura batter. I don't feel like making tempura batter. So I'm gonna go out to my local Japanese supermarket and get some tempura mix. です。今日はとあるものを買いに来ました。なるほどね。え、そうだね。今日買いに来たのは、まあ僕 YouTube やってて、で、カツを作りたいって言ったんじゃないですか。カツを。カツを、その、ツナ作りたくて、で、作ったんですよ。なんか、あの、スーパー行って買って持って帰って調理して作って、で、そのカツの中に貴重なものが
、まあ、そう、それ作りたいので、ここにやってまいりました。で、そのコツのいらない天ぷら粉っていうやつが欲しくて、ありますか。ちょっと案内、お願いします。コツのいらない天ぷらこれだこれで美味しいカツオ天ぷらカツオの白子天ぷらを<笑> Alright, we're back We got the tempura batter mix We'll use that in a bit Alright, first We're gonna cut the, the 白子 into some smaller pieces What the inside looks like. We're also going to cut the heart in half. All right, we're going to salt. All right, now we're going to make the tempura batter. So it says mix 100 grams, roughly four, five, four fifths cup, and then 160 milliliters of water. All right. All right, this isn't four fifths cup, but I don't want to use too much of the batter, so we're going with that much. All right, put it in. Mix it. I think you want to leave it so that there is some. You don't want to over mix it. All right. All right, while we're doing that, a lot of excess liquid came out of these. So we're just going to wash it off one more time. So I actually do have a couple of fillets left over from that time. I filleted the tuna. So we're gonna take we're gonna take like one of those and cook one of those as well. Probably put it in the tempura batter. We're gonna use this bigger piece. I'm gonna save this piece for when I go fishing for bait. ラッホー今日のメニューは。ちゃんとした猫用ご飯なんかツナなんかツナのやつとサーモンのやつよし,よいしょ片手きついなこれ片手きついわこんな感じこの待って待って待って待ってツナねこれがツナで次はサーモンとエビあどっちも同じだね同じ色よいしょはいはいめっちゃ晴れてきた今日ずっと雨だったのにめっちゃ晴れてきた今ほらおいしい今日はね俺は白子なんだけどお前らはちゃんとした栄養たっぷりの猫用ご飯Got some leftover sunflower oil. All right, we're gonna salt everything. Flip. Smells good, actually. Smell good. All right, we're gonna get these battered up. I 
think the batter's supposed to be a little bit not as thick, but I think it's still gonna turn out pretty good. Flip these, these shrunk a lot. All right, I think these are about done. I'm gonna take them out. Okay, let's eat. So we got the milk tempura right here. Oh! The tuna tempura. And then this is the heart, I believe. Tuna heart tempura. And then the grilled milk. All right, first let's try this tempura milk. Mmm. Shirako milk is pretty mild. Mild flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A lot of times you'll hear creamy. These ones aren't so creamy, actually. Yeah, less creamy. More just like good, mild flavor. I don't even know what I can compare them to. They got their own thing going on. Mmm, very good. Definitely worth saving for sure. Now let's try some of this tuna, tuna tempura. Wow, tempura goes perfect with tuna. Mm. Yeah, the tuna is better than the shirako, but the shirako is good. But wow, yeah, the tuna tempura is delicious. Could be good in some soy sauce too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Such a juicy, good tuna flavor. And followed up with some rice. Mmm. Next, I believe this is the heart right here. That's it. it should be the heart. No, that's tuna. Where'd the heart go? Tuna. Maybe the heart's in here. Nope, tuna. Eh? <laughs> Where'd the heart go? Where'd it go? I believe this is the heart, let's try. Very strong flavor, very strong flavor for sure. That one I wouldn't recommend for, for everyone. That's kind of, that's definitely a advanced fish flavor right there for sure. All right, now let's try some of this grilled milk. Mmm. The texture is different for sure when you grill it compared to when you fry it. I like it when you fry it better. For sure, this is delicious. It's the texture, the crunchy outside with the soft inside of the milk is very good. All right, now that I've tried everything, I'd like to present my drink. Then, Crystal Geyser. Then, the last bit. Oh, that's good. Ain't nothing like some tuna tempura 
and some milk tempera. Look at that meat, that juicy tuna meat and the soy sauce. Give it a little swim. Ooh. Yeah, that was good. Filleted that tuna a little bit over a month ago and I pickled the milk and some sake, some salt and water. Yeah, about a month later, I finally got to eat it, and I'm so glad I saved it. It was so good. Totally worth it. It goes really good as a side with the meat of the fish as well. It like, it's like a nice change of flavor. Next time you catch a fish and it's got some roe or some milk, save that. Chef it up, because it's really good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!